by the time you are watching this, Mr. Beast has probably hit 100 million subscribers. I've hyper-analyzed what makes Mr. Beast so successful and I've got only one conclusion. Mr. Beast thinks about YouTube the same way great innovators like Steve Jobs thinks about mobile phones. So I went down the rabbit hole to compare these two great innovators and the similarities between them. I've compiled it into this video and I'm going to break it down for you. There are four parts to this video. Chapter 1. Read what's not yet on the page. Chapter 2. A contrarian thinking. Chapter 3. The innovation attention curve. And chapter 4. Hey Jimmy, my challenge to Mr. Beast. Chapter 1. Read what's not yet on the page. Steve Jobs once said, some people say, give customers what they want. But that's not my approach. Our job is to figure out what they are going to want before they do. I think Henry Ford once said, if I had asked customers what they wanted, they would have told me, a faster horse. People don't know what they want until you show it to them. That's why I never rely on market research. Our task is to read things that are not yet on the page. Great innovators like Steve Jobs knew what people wanted even before they know it themselves. Before the iPhone came out, if you asked people what they wanted in a phone, no one would have said they wanted a phone without a physical keypad. But look where we are. In the same way, Mr. Beast often knows what people want to watch even before they know it themselves. When he made videos like counting from 1 to 100,000 or hi me in 5 years, these are video ideas that people did not know they wanted to watch until they did. This is the man that first knew that challenge videos would be a big hit and he therefore pioneered a whole genre of challenge videos. So the main question is, how then do we develop a great innovator's mind like Mr. Beast? So part 2. A contrarian thinking. How to develop a great mind. Steve Jobs explained the idea of contrarian thinking with this simple quote. Don't let the noise of other people's opinions drown out your inner voice. And it's not that people's opinions don't matter, but to be contrarian, you need to look for ideas and opportunities in places that people just aren't looking at. When asked about how Mr. Beast comes up with new ideas, he says that he consumes content outside of his genre. He does this thing that he calls info dieting. Like I, would, I had what I would call like an info diet, like try to watch a different show or different things or different genres for inspiration. And I... In his info diet, one of the types of content that inspires him the most is strangely enough, anime. I love anime. It's like, it's so creative and different and I feel like that inspires me. So if you want to develop your mind, do not just consume content from fellow creators in the same field, but look outside at other types of content and genres and mediums to look for inspiration in places where people aren't looking at. Part 3. The Innovation Attention Curve. The Reward for Great Innovation. Now coming out with new videos is super hard work, but Mr. Beast knows that with every incremental amount of effort he puts in into his videos, the additional amount of views he gets is multiplied. In a podcast with Logan Paul, Mr. Beast said that for most people, they can spend 100 days uploading 100 videos with 10,000 views per video, or just sit down and come up with a good video and get a million views. You see, the reward for great innovation is not linear, it is exponential. When you are doing something different, you are not only attracting the attention of your subscribers, but also from other channels, as other social media and platforms, and most importantly, the algorithm of YouTube. Part 4. Hey Jimmy, my challenge to Mr. Beast. As someone who loves analyzing YouTube creators, I can't help but to ask, what is the next greatest video that Jimmy can make, even if it seems too crazy? In the genre of challenge videos, Mr. Beast started with challenges just by himself, 
After that, he involved his friends in his challenges and then his community in his challenges and more recently with Team C's uh, challenges that involves the whole YouTube community. So, what is the next logical step? Hey Jimmy, can you make a challenge video that involves the whole world? You may think it sounds crazy, but I think it's actually very possible. If we look at Pokemon, Pokemon went from a virtual game on a console that no one wanted to play to a reality game that now everyone wanted to play by bridging the gap of virtual and reality with augmented reality. So instead of you playing Pokemon on your Game Boy, now Pokemon sends the game to your world, to our world. So Jimmy, as a great innovator, could you make a challenge video that brings the challenge to any viewer anywhere? 